Hey folks, Carrie May here with BassResource.com. We're talking to Skeet Reese. I actually got this angler's name right, finally. <laughs> it's been taking me a while, trust me. And we're gonna ask him his best three tips for jig fishing. Uh, best three tips for jig fishing. One I've just learned that I've, I've gotten this year is a Berkeley Max Scent Meaty Chunk Jig Trailer. Fish don't let go of it, so that, that helps you land a lot more fish. Uh, fishing slow is probably one of the most important tips. Uh, and fishing uh, a fluorocarbon, which I use a trilene fluorocarbon, to be able to keep your jig on the bottom and get better sensitivity and better hook sets. Brandon's going to tell us his top three tips for jig fishing. Okay, for jig fishing, my first one is going to be applying the right jig to the style of fishing you're doing. And what I mean by that is if you're fishing offshore, you don't want to be throwing a big giant flipping jig. You want to be throwing a football style or some type of finesse jig that matches those conditions and then vice versa when you go shallow if you're fishing around shallow cover you want to make sure that you've got a jig that's got a little bit more of a stout weed guard a little bit bigger hook that you can get those fish out of the heavy cover and then you're going to match the rest of your tackle to that so that'd be my first tip uh, number two would have to be about colors but i'm not going to go into that much because i believe we're going to talk about you're that a little bit later so i'm not going to go into all the colors and then um I think my next tip uh, would probably be the weight size mm -hmm. and adjusting your weight for different conditions. And just general rule of thumb, early in the spring, I like to go with lighter weights. Uh, the fish are moving a little bit slower, gives you a slower fall. And then as the water warms up, I'll go with a, fat, a little bit heavier jig, three quarter, one ounce, a little bit faster fall, more of a reaction strike. Top three tips for jig fishing. Uh, number one is keep it simple. I, I use <laughs> I, I use no more than three sizes. Mm -hmm. I use a three eighths, a half, and a three quarter. That's pretty much what I use. Um, and I I will use a three quarter more than a lot of guys do, even flipping in shallow water and that kind of stuff. So mm -hmm. you know, use a heavy jig sometimes. It, for me, if I'm flipping in there, I want to get it to the bottom. I want to get it there pretty quick a lot of times. Mm -hmm. So kind of creates a reaction by using a heavy jig. I only carry about six colors. That's part of the keep it simple, you know, and, and, you know, don't have a whole bunch of different crazy colors for jig fishing. I don't feel like you need them. And the third one would be, um, you know, just to use it nearly every day you go. I think last year on the Elite Series, I weighed in fish on a jig in every tournament except one. Wow. So uh, I, I think throughout the whole year. And every tournament, that there was at least one fish, and a lot of tournaments there was a lot more than one. I think Lake St. Clair was the only place I didn't weigh in a fish on a jig. Well, that's saying something for the jig. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> really. Yep, very versatile. Jig fishing. Uh, you know, the biggest thing I can tell you in jig fishing is there, it's one of those baits that always needs to be tied on. You know, a lot of people think of a jig as it only relates to a crawfish, but a jig is a great bluegill imitator. It's also a great shad imitator, all by changing the skirt color. Uh, and it, and there's just, you know, a couple things to keep in mind. You know, if you're fishing it on the bottom, I always like to try to be sure you drag, like a football jig, drag your rod sideways. That's going to keep better contact with the bottom. Um, fluorocarbon is a must when I'm in that situation, you know, because fluorocarbon is a, a very dense line. You have a direct pull with the, with the jig. If you're using monofilament, it's more buoyant. You're not going to have near as good a hook set or the feel. Braid, you don't have any stretch. It's just, it's not the right line. But then when I change that jig over to swimming it, favorite technique you know and, and a lot of people don't realize that man a jig and a spinnerbait are interchangeable uh, just a, really a great technique imitates a bluegill especially this time of year around the spawn uh, that's when I change it over to braid a lot of times I'm swimming it around really heavy cover making long casts and you don't want any of that stretch you know so you get a really good hook set but uh, um, you know those are my tips for jig fishing it, it's it's one of the the best time tested baits that there ever was very true very true and great tips thank you so much you know, jig fishing is, is uh, it's one of those things that everybody has their opinion on things. You know, for me, I would say number one with a jig is when you make that cast, make sure it's falling on a slack line. Don't, you know, when you have your line, you pitch it out there, a lot of people just click their reel over mm -hmm. and that jig will pendulum back, pendulum back. And that's one thing, if it's a slack line, it's going to fall real vertical and a lot of times I get my bites on the fall. Another thing, in line, line tie. That for me personally, that's something that I like. I feel like I can get through the cover a little bit better. And last but not least, make sure you have a stiff weed guard, especially fishing in heavy cover. If your jig's getting stuck all the time, you're not going to catch the bass. So that's Very something that time. I would definitely have to, have to have to recommend. Top three tips for jig fishing. 
Uh, jig fishing, top three tips. Uh, trailers are a, a big deal with jigs. Um, to me, there's two styles. One that has a lot of action to it, a lot of kick, and one that's more of a subtle flap to it. Now, let's explain those. Kick would be a Yamamoto twin tail grub. Mm -hmm. It has a lot of kick to it. The other one would be a flapping hog, which is a beaver style bait. So when you lift and drop that jig, it's more of a, a flap to it instead of a hard kick. Uh, colder weather, you want the one with a little bit more of a flap to it versus the hard kick. So warmer weather, the twin tail grub, colder weather, the flapping hog. Mm -hmm. um, as far as where to fish, football head for fishing deeper water. And then I use a Arky style head for shallower water. Uh, the reason for that is the football, you're fishing normally around structure cover out deep. I want the football head to catch when it's on the bottom and it tends to wobble a little bit more. Uh, the Arky style head is what I'm going to use for fishing shallow cover, whether it's docks or lay downs. Uh, that Arky style head is, is uh, the better head for fishing shallow. Mm -hmm. Weights for deep, I use a three quarter. For shallow, I use half. Mm -hmm. And that's about it across Keep the board. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. Yeah, perfect. Thank you so much. Oh, top three. God, you would have asked me a hard one right off. Uh, number one would be um, colors. Keep your colors simple. You know, basically, you need a, a white one a black one and a, you know, something green pumpkin, bluegill colored. Mm -hmm. um, number two would be trailers. I do about the same way. I, I basically use three trailers on my jig. I use a rage crawl. I use a, a, a chunk of some sort, mm -hmm. plastic chunk. I choose a KVD chunk and I use a menace grub. Perfect. Perfect. And the, the last tip would be, um, don't get caught up in using one size. Like if you're a big fan of a three eighths, occasionally try half or even mm -hmm. a three quarter, you know, and, and swap it up a little bit. And I think you'll find you'll get a few more bites. All right, great tips, really great Thank tips. You.